Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in science, astronomy, and telescopes. Now, you have asked for it, so I'm gonna do it. So, you asked, you know what, what do I like better, and what is a better telescope? The William Optics 126, or the new Ascar 140 millimeter. So let's get to it. Okay, now some of you might be thinking, okay, the William Optics is 126, this is 140, that's a huge difference. In millimeters, sounds like it's big, but it's not that big of a difference, okay? This is a five inch refracting telescope, and this is a 5.5, so only half an inch diameter less. It is bigger, but they're still comparable. Let's do an overview first. Let's quickly talk about it, just because there might be, there's new subscribers all the time, and somebody might be watching this video as their first to my channel. So let's go over a few things about them, and then the next video is gonna be us testing it. I don't know, it maybe it depends because weather conditions, today it's not clear, it wasn't clear yesterday, so I'll do this video now inside. I will try Saturn, possibly, it depends if Jupiter, depends on a weekend, a weekday, the moon, if it's a, around first quarter moon or something like that. So anyway, so let's quickly talk about it. And again, we're not gonna talk about the mount uh, either because they're, we're not talking about that, just the telescope. So, William Optics. Okay, William Optics, 126 millimeter. This is a synthetic doublet, 53 lens, okay? Focal ratio of f7.7, so five inch. It's not a triplet, it's a doublet, but with 53. The rings, huge 3.3 focuser. It can rotate. The 53 lens is a high grade lens. It's only doublet, so it's gonna cool semi-fast for a five inch type of thing. It's nice and baffled. A little bit of dust, but I'm not gonna touch it because I don't clean it all the time type of thing. Only when it's necessary. Now, let's look at the Ascar 140, 5.5 inch. Now this is an F7, very similar to that one's F7.7, .7, but this one's F7. So a little bit shorter, 140 millimeters is 5.5 inch. Now it is a triplet, but it's not a triplet 53, okay? It is a triplet with one ED glass. So most likely in this price range, it's gonna be either a 51, or a 61 or equivalent type of thing. Now, however, both should be comparable. So a doublet with a 53 high grade glass compared to a triplet with a lower quality ED glass, it should be pretty much perfect, okay? Or by theory, some people would probably say that this still has a little bit of better color correction because each glass can correct for each wavelength a tiny bit better than only two pieces of glass, even though it's higher grade. This one, is either gonna be exactly the same as far as quality, image quality, or this one still has a small edge being a triplet. If it was a triplet with 53, then it'd be a slightly bigger difference, but a triplet with 51 glass versus a doublet with 53, they're either exactly on par, or this one just has a little bit edge on it since it can correct for each color. Now, most people would say that William Optics is a medium high quality company or name brand. I would probably agree with that. It is a little bit above like your Mead, Celestron, Skywatcher, Explore Scientific. So I think it's a little bit better. Now this is a new company, okay? Only been around, I think less than two years. It could be maybe in the US, uh, it could be two years or slightly more than two years, but roughly around there. Uh, I don't think more than two years. I like it personally. Uh, it's giving you half inch diameter. So my prediction is it'd be a little bit brighter. 
than this one naturally because it's a bigger diameter telescope. So that part we understand, okay? The question is, as far as five and a half to five inch, is there gonna be a drastic improvement in image quality, sharpness, and contrast? Or is it gonna be, again, I want you guys to kind of predict on this video before we test it outside, what you think is gonna happen. Is it gonna be virtually undetectable and it's only gonna be just a fraction here and there? Okay, and which one do you think? Is it gonna be the better glass is gonna outperform a slightly bigger telescope with lower glass quality? Is it gonna be on par? Is it gonna, one is gonna be slightly better, one is gonna be medium better, one's gonna be drastically better. So let's look at that. Also weight wise is about 22 pounds here, 24 pounds here, so virtually the same. And uh, let's give it a go and uh, see which one produces a better overall image on the same night, roughly I'll match the same powers and I will show you guys just in case you guys have something similar or you were wondering. Uh, a lot of people actually have bought these Ascar, but they weren't sure quality wise would it compare. So if it does compare to a William Optics, I think a lot of you would actually appreciate that because you know a lot of people are scared to drop a few thousand depending which model you want, the 100, 120, 140, 185 because we don't know, because the company hasn't been a, around long enough, is the quality control gonna be consistent through most of the batches? There's always a lemon that comes through no matter what scope, what name brand, a lemon will get through here and there. Most companies, when you get a lemon, they will you know, exchange it, refund it, which is not a problem. But anyway, I think if they do compare, a lot of people would probably be more confident in buying from this company. But again, if you like the name brand of William Optics, you know, you might like like, okay, a 126 could be comparable to a, an Ascar 140. So you might want to stay with the William Optics name brand. Especially what's nice is they got the three different colors, the blue, the red, and then the gold color. You know, it's one of the few companies that gives you the choice of the color scheme. It sometimes might be hard because you gotta buy like three different models of accessories and stuff like that. So that might add uh, cost if you're a company to, to have three different color schemes of a telescope. You can't buy, you know, for instance, you can't buy a thousand uh, telescopes. You gotta buy, you know, if you have three different schemes, let's say 333 each, if a thousand was your maximum budget. So maybe you can't get as much discount, I'm guessing but normally the bigger you buy the more of a discount you get which then will be transferred to the consumer of course but anyway anyway guys that's it so william optics medium high grade name uh, at a five inch can it compete will it be on par to you know, an ascar 5.5 inch and let's test it out and we're going to see what's going to happen i want you guys to predict now before we test it, I will put them each on an EQ6, so both are rock solid. Both are only two pounds difference. The focal lengths are actually fairly similar as well. Pretty close, not 100%. F7 to an F7.7, so they're very similar, but I'll even try to match those powers even closer if I can, okay? And let's give it a go. Okay guys, like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new on the channel, thanks for subscribing. If you've been with me uh, for a long time, thank you for staying. If you guys are on the forums and maybe someone's asked about this and is curious, you know what I mean? Maybe somebody has a 120 to 126 and they're thinking of jumping up to a 140, maybe they'd like to see this video. Share my channel with them, if you don't mind. I also have members video where once a month I do a dedicated video just for the members. It does not go public. So if you'd like to see a video once a month, it's only 99 cents to join. And uh, why not you? Why not me?